to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the things that I have been loving through the month of March. Um, I just want to quickly say, if you can hear my dogs barking in the background, I'm really sorry but I've tried to film this video about five times now and they keep barking so I've just given up because if I don't do it now I won't get this up on time and come hell or high water this will be going up on Wednesday. So I might as well get straight into it because they seem to be fairly quiet at the moment. So first up um, I've got the Saint Tropez Sensitive Self Tan Bronzing Mousse. I haven't got particularly sensitive skin but I want it to be cautious so I got the sensitive one. The only thing I would say is that the sensitive Saint Tropez doesn't have a guide in it or it does but it's very very light. Um, so it is a little bit harder to see where you're using it I believe than the normal Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. It goes on really nicely, it leaves a really nice glow. I put this on at night, left it overnight um, and showered it off in the morning. Really, really nice, subtle glow to it. It's not big time in your face. If you like that kind of tan, I would say maybe this isn't the one for you. Maybe you need to go for a really dark one. But I really, really liked it. It's really nice to use. It doesn't smell funny. It didn't go on my sheets. And yeah, it just gave you a really, really nice finish. So I'll definitely be using this um, pretty much forevermore because I am so sick of being really, really pale. Not that there's anything wrong with being pale, I just prefer myself with a little bit of a healthy glow. Um, so that is the self tan. Next thing I got is the Colab Dry Shampoo. Everyone talks about Colab Dry Shampoo. I thought I'd give it a go. I bought it in the small travel size because I'm basically sick of wasting my money on things that aren't that good. Um, so I bought it in a smaller size to see how I got on with it. And yeah, it's really, really good. I use this at night if I know I'm not going to be washing my hair the next day. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed using this. It's really, really nice. It smells nice. It doesn't make my hair like cotton wool. And it just gives a really, really nice, fresh look to my hair in the morning. Then I've got a skincare item. And this is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. They basically come, um, they're like soaked little cotton pads that are quite textured. They are quite rough on your skin, so I would say just go steady if you're quite sensitive. But they have glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid and blue daisy. They're just really, really nice for brightening and exfoliating your skin. I will do a cleanse at night and then exfoliate with these pads afterwards. If you'd like to see a skincare routine, then just pop it in the comments below or give the video a thumb up and I will see what I can do. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed them. You get 60 pads as well, and for the price, I think they're about £8. £60 is going to last you two months if you use it every day, obviously. Um, if not, and you're only using them a couple of times a week, these are going to last you ages. Obviously, you just need to make sure you're putting the, cap, the lid on properly because they are um, liquid and you don't want them to dry out. Then I've got a couple of makeup items. The first one is the Bourjois Paris um, Blush in Golden Rose. Now, I showed this in my drugstore haul because when I picked it up and it is just a really really pretty pinky gold blush it goes on really nicely it has that signature scent which I love um, and yeah I've been using this when I haven't really wanted to use a highlight and everything on top just because it does give a really really natural look so I've loved that and another item makeup item where's it gone there we go this is beautiful now this is the L'Oreal collection exclusive lipstick and this is the JLo nude one this is a really, really pretty pinky nude. It suits me perfectly. When I saw it, I was like, yes, that is the lipstick for me. I absolutely love it. It's really long lasting, a lot longer lasting than I thought it would be. It goes on really nicely. It feels really moisturising on my lips. And yeah, it's just a really pretty nudie pink shade. And I'm really into pink shades at the moment. Um, obviously, it was very very toned and all of that and very matte throughout winter and now I'm kind of like it's spring give me some pink lipstick and yeah absolutely love that that's it for beauty items then I've got a couple of non-beauty items so there's a couple of teas and I've only got into tea fairly recently I thought you know what I drink too much coffee I need to drink some tea so we've got the Twinings Intensely Double Mint and this has got peppermint leaf and mint oil. So if you like a strong minty tea, I would say give this a go. It is really nice, it packs a punch, it's really refreshing. I put a couple of teaspoons of honey in my tea just because I've got quite a sweet tooth, but love that. And then another tea that I've been really enjoying is the Pucker Detox Tea. Um, this has in it 
organic aniseed fennel and cardamom. I got this in a pack with um, a few different teas in it to try and literally from the moment I opened the box I was like whoa I can smell aniseed big time here. Now not to compare that to another drink but it kind of smelled a bit like Sambuca basically if you know what aniseed tastes like or smells like. Um, so I was like I'll give that one a go. Um, yeah naturally caffeine free, aniseed, fennel, licorice root, coriander seed, celery seed, so loads of stuff in there. Um, really enjoyed this. I have this in the morning when I first wake up just to give my body a bit of a detox like it says and give it a bit of a freshening up um, and then I go on to drinking copious amounts of coffee for the rest of the day. Um, so that's that and then the last favourite that I've got is one of my favourite things of all time and it is the Marks and Spencers hot cross buns but not just any hot cross buns these are the Toffee Fudge and Belgium hot, hot cross buns so basically where you would have sultanas and raisins and all that really healthy rubbish stuff you get fudge and chocolate now when this goes up I would hope they still have them in store because I've been buying these since February but they are amazing they come out once a year at Easter time they are beautiful the chocolate's so good the toffee's always really sticky and toasted with butter these are the most amazing thing I've eaten these over and over and over again since February um, yeah and I have to admit I've got I think I've got four packets left in my freezer because I kind of went into a bit of a panic when I was in Marks and Spencer's like oh my god I need to buy all of them what if I don't have any more what if I can't eat them over Easter what am I going to do so I kind of bought loads and threw them in the freezer so hopefully if I ration them out all right I might keep them going for a couple of months yet yeah, which would be amazing as kind of a Sunday morning treat with a nice cup of coffee so love them Marks and Spencers if you could just make them all year round that would be great um, so yeah that is everything in my favourites for March sorry it's quite short and sweet but there's no point lying and saying oh I love this and I love that when I didn't I'm only going to tell you about things that I really have loved for the last month um, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you again next week I post videos every Wednesday bye oh, my heart is literally in my throat anyway I was talking about how nice the mythic oil is it 